What's up guys, welcome to another video with your buddy the Willow Coaster Crafter and today, right now we are on the set of my custom coaster edge point and today is a tutorial video because I'm going to show you guys how to make Connects roller coaster supports and this can apply for any roller coaster. So here we go. So the supports that I'm going to show you are first the vertical supports and also triangular supports that you see on the side right here. So here are the essential pieces you are going to need to build footers and the actual supports. The first two pieces you are going to need are the two interlocking connect connectors and you will also need these spacers, two blue spacers and a gray spacer. And then you will also need these rods connected in this way and I will show you why for that reason. So first what you are going to do, you are going to connect the two interlocking pieces together and then you will also take a blue rod, I say a blue rod just to kind of conserve space, and you can put it on either three connections of that half of that halfway connector. I'm going for this one, I'm going to put it on the top for right now. And now what you're going to do, we're going to take our one connection pieces, and these are the these are the things that will connect the footer to the actual support. So now we're gonna take our blue spacers and put them on each side of the footer. And here's why, because if you look at our first support, our two rods are connected to the corner of the blue pieces. And that is going to determine how far apart the one connection pieces need to be. So that's why the spacers are put there to lock it in place. And then you will put the one connection pieces on to the footer and onto the support. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you what that gray spacer is for. Because if you look at our next support, our next support has the two rods farther across from each other. And the gray spacer is put there to fill up the rest of the space, so that way your support is not sliding around. So now we're going to take our one connection pieces, put those onto the support and the footer on each side, and then it will be fully locked in. That gray spacer is really just there to fill up more space when you have a wide, um, wide range of those two rods on the support. Now the process I just showed you can be really used for angled supports like right here. Whereas if you have a vertical support, you can really just use any connects connector and connect it to the base. I use red connectors because it keeps it close to the base and is also to keep it sturdy all the way up. Now that you have your first beam connected to a footer, the next step is to make them taller. So there are two ways to connect beams together. You can either connect them with orange connectors like this for each, or you can connect beams together using one blue connector like you see on the left. They both have to pluses and minuses. I use the one on the left to, to conserve rods, and then the one on the right I use also because it is a lot more sturdy than the one on the left. It is actually more or less likely to bend. So they both really work. It really depends on your preference. Okay, so now the next part I'm going to show you is how to connect two supports together. Right here we have a vertical support right here, and then we also have a diagonal support coming from it. So the way you connect them together is like this. You connect them with a red uh, right angle connector right at the side of this, the vertical support. Then you also have a white rod protruding out of it, and then you have an orange connector slid through the slits of the support. And then you will angle it so it can lock into place of the two of the support beam, and that way you are able to connect your diagonal support into it. Now the way you want to do a diagonal support is you want a five piece connector as you can see right here, five piece connector right at the tip. And then what you can do is have two rods coming down from it and one rod that is jetting all the way up to connect into the little connection on your vertical support. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to connect triangular supports. Now the way you do this is I just have a two piece connection up here. This is a connector that goes to about a 45 degree angle. And what you do, you just put it right at the top of the two supports as they meet each other at the top and then just connect them right there. Then what you also want to do is you want to probably use the orange connector system to connect the supports together, which will make it a lot stronger and sturdier. As opposed to the connection to the blue connector, those are likely to bend. I suggest really using the orange connector system because they're a lot stronger and will keep, will keep the triangular support sturdy and from bending. These rules can apply for any roller coaster that you're building. You just have to make sure you know you make them the right size and use whatever method you like to your liking. Whatever uh, makes your coaster like you know creative and everything. Whatever whatever it takes to make the creative process flow. Post in the comments if you have any additional questions and also don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos as I will keep them coming. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time on the Coaster Crafter channel. Peace.